Many of us watched in shock as this mass shooting unfolded, but local emergency services view this as something that they need to get accustomed to, something they should prepare for as part of their job. Richmond police, fire, and emergency responders say they are trained and at the ready. But what does that really mean? Brittany McDonald joins us live with that part of our team coverage. Brittany, what'd you find out? Well, Sabrina and Kurt, we all know where fire trucks are dispatched from, right? Stations like this behind me. But what about ambulances? They're actually set up all over the city, some of them nearby, and ready to go at a moment's notice, which is good news because these are matters we're talking about that sometimes deal with life or death. We're here 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and therefore we have to be constantly prepared to deal with anything that is the next call. Whether it's a mass shooting like the one we saw Wednesday in California or the local bus crash in Chesterfield Sunday, Rob Lawrence with Richmond Ambulance Authority says they're prepared. We constantly go through a number of training and drills uh, for such events as this. It all begins with a phone call. The paramedics are on the way. Tell me exactly what happened. Crews are already in place all over the city, and those nearest to the emergency are sent in, arriving within nine minutes. And it's all about command, control, and communication. Right away, they assess whether or not it's a mass casualty incident, where they need to call in more help. A mass casualty incident is an incident that is beyond the means of pretty much the first vehicle on scene. It's all about making order out of chaos. Each victim is tagged depending on the severity of their injuries. Green if they can walk, yellow for minor, red for severe, and black if they're deceased. From there, each victim is taken to a tarp just like this one, where first responders can treat them immediately at the scene. Crews fill out a detailed card for each victim with their identification and injury, so the hospitals they're taken to know exactly who and what they're dealing with to provide the quickest and best care. We have to be prepared and we constantly are prepared. And of course, if you're facing an emergency at any time, it's best to first call 911. On your side in Richmond, Brittany McDonald, NBC 12.